Still TV3 New Day, and uh, this is our love-based segment right here on TV3 New Day. Now, whether it's an innate obsession or external pressure, many women out there, especially those who are ready to get married, have always uh, dreamed of having lavish weddings. And on that particular day, everything must be lavish or everything must be perfect. From perfect decor to the cake, to the dress, to the makeup, to the hair, to the man, to the man's tuxedo, shoes and everything, everything that day must be on point. But are we just putting unnecessary pressure on ourselves or do we see it? Some women actually want to ask this morning that if I want to throw a lavish wedding just to re reward myself, that number one, a worthy man out there has found me and wants me to be his wife. And I've also worked very hard. I mean, I've been in the corporate world. I've been grinding all these years and I've made some good amount of money. And God has also blessed me with a man who is also well to do. Why can't we have a lavish wedding to serve as a reward, especially for the woman, for staying chaste, number one, waiting for the right man. And then now that the grand day has come, why can I not have a lavish wedding? Now, one of such letters came to us and we want to take a good look at it this morning so we can get into the discussion to ask you out there if lavish weddings are even important or not can the money be used for something else that's what we are getting into this morning so let me just quickly take the letter that we have and it says would it not um, be just right for a hardworking lady like myself to have a lavish wedding. Hi, I am Ruth. I believe I am one hardworking lady who is more than well to do. Now, fortunately, God has blessed me with an equally more than well to do gentleman to take me to take as my husband. Wedding has been my dream since childhood. Just looking at where I am now, would it not just be great for me to have that wedding, which ends up being the talk of the day? Guests would never complain about I wasn't fed. A wedding where upcoming young ladies would really look up to. Sadly, my rich husband frowns upon my dream. It is not like we will lose something if my dream really comes true. I'm so confused. I don't know which words to use to convince him. And so I ask, what should I do? And that's what we are discussing this morning. Now, this young lady actually thinks that she deserves it. She thinks that her wedding must actually be the reward for all her hard work because luckily enough she's blessed to also have a well-to-do man so why can she not have a lavish wedding to celebrate the beginning of this very important journey in her life now joining me this morning is Bafo and Kitia Sapong now he is a wedding planner event par excellence he is on instagram you can follow him he does lavish weddings that's the reason why we brought him here this morning he's going to be breaking it down for us and with him this morning came the one and only george castinson lutrot who is also in the building this morning gentlemen you're very welcome thank you thank you for your time we know we woke you up very early but forgive us it's the nature of the job i go through this every day we go through this every day so sorry we woke you up for when you come on not really. But not really. Um, we, yeah, we okay? Yeah, we yeah. yeah, we are not no awkward. <laughs> Why? Uncle George, how's it going? Uh, it's better than the last time. Good. Once What's... we are alive. Right. It's good. Right. And the more you... You see, the longer you stay alive, the more painful you feel to live. Uh -huh. Because if you are dead... Because if we are here dead. Uh-huh. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Now they are chant. Be be a foul. What I say? Obi, who had the the freedom place you can ever find on earth is the cemetery. Uncle George, you know you give me the longest response to simple how you doing. I didn't even hear you say how you doing. Yeah, that's what I asked. Oh, so I asked again. Sorry. Yeah, I said, how's it going? How's it going? Is it uh, how you do? How is it going? Okay, <laughs> let's get to the <laughs> let's let's get to the business of the day. Like oh I mentioned. God. In my introduction, many women, um, some men do it, but it's more geared towards the women. We do that most of the time. I mean, by virtue of the fact that we are women, once we start growing up, we think of, okay, school, once we are done with school and national service, the next thing that must happen to every lady out there is marriage. And we just don't want simple, common weddings. No, we want to go through the whole pre-wedding photo shoots. And another one has come, you tell me. 
um, and then we go through the whole caking process. These days, the cake must come from up there in the sky. I'll ask you how it's done because I don't even know what the mechanism <laughs> is. And then um, in the beginning or in the past, we'll cut them with just a simple knife. Now it's a sword that's actually used to cut the cake. And when you don't have that type of cake at your wedding, it means that your wedding isn't popping. Your dress must be the talk of town. Your makeup must be on point. And your hair these days, your frontal must be sitting right. If it's not sitting right, it means that your wedding didn't happen. And this lady is saying that she wants a wedding where her guests will be well fed. I've been to weddings where it'd be an in a short year. Uh, and so, and I've also witnessed an engagement where uh, gifts no much channel and so mom got to talk toilet through just to give to the rest of the people who who didn't who didn't have um the the gifts that were pre-packaged Bafo, when you say a lavish wedding in this country how much are you looking at number one and what elements are you looking at in the first place um a very lavish <coughs> wedding can cost like two hundred thousand Ghana city twenty thousand Ghana city if I'm you, right, mean, um, you mean Titisika saying to be two billion. billion Titisika? Yeah, two billion. Two hundred thousand Ghana yes. cities. Yeah, two hundred thousand. Um, it's let's say one sector of the lavish wedding. Some um, um, could go more higher. Ah. Yeah. So if I want it lavishly, two hundred thousand is consisting of what? Is my dress in there? Yeah, your dress is in there. So everything, everything. including the man's dress, yeah, groomsmen. The yeah, that's at, uh, the least. The uh, least. Let's say at least. Okay, because so this we, has. We get in a place like um, Moving Peak or one of the hotels. Or Campistic. To, to, yeah. As you know, they as they say. You know, one of the places to you know. Uh do all those things. Right. So it's going to cost, it, it will start from less than 200,000 gold. Mm. Mm. And, and what type of decor am I looking at? I enter the, the auditorium and I have flowers hanging. Flowers every everywhere, mm. chandeliers everywhere, trusses, but flowers, everything. You know, the room it's Like be, like what we are seeing on the know, screen, right? Hey, oh, this is more than 200,000. Yeah, this is more than 200,000. Uh, in your estimation, if I want something like this for my big day, I'll be saying what you're saying. Oh, it's going to be five, eight billion. five, eight billion. So this is like 500,000 500, gara. Because I see that the chairs, what, it's sitting on a pool. I think the pool yeah. has been covered. Yeah. I see a pool underneath where the chairs are. And then I see a lot of roses. Are those roses I'm seeing? Yes, a lot of flowers. And it looks like this guest number is about 300, yes. 400. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. So yes. if I need something lavish like this, I even see a waterfall. Is that yeah. a fountain? Yes. Yeah, you know, so, you know, th this is a, um, a room trans uh, transformation. The room might be a, a, just a normal hall, so we are transforming everything to this. So it would take days and weeks to do this. How many weeks would you need for, for, for the planning of this, to, for, to do this setup? It, it should take like um, one and a half weeks. One and a half weeks. Yeah. So that's like 10 days yeah. for this type of setup. And we are talking 500 to 200,000 to 500,000 Ghana mm -hmm. cities, but minimum for you, 200,000. Okay, do you think it is necessary? For me, as a business person, it is necessary hmm. because you get something out of it. Okay. But on a normal What do you get out of it? We get money. Oh, no, you, okay, you make money out we, of we, it. We okay. make money yeah, out but, of but, it. But, 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 but for the couple, what's in it for them when they are able to throw such a lavish wedding? Nothing. Oh, what for? Not, absolutely nothing? It's, it's all about marriage, and the name hasn't changed. Marriage is about man and a woman. Um, the guy is a man, the lady is a woman. A and they woman. are coming together as married people. The one who did it with 10,000 cities is called a married person. If you should wear a ring of 100,000 cities, I'm wearing a ring of um, 2,000 cities. It's called what? Ring. I beg to differ, but... So you are Mrs. He is Mr. The other lady is a Mrs. Hey. So you all have the same so name. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Uncle George. Hello. What's your take on this letter that we have received? She wants her guests very well fed. She wants her dress to be beautiful. Well, she's been working harder. I'm not sure how many years she's been in the corporate world or whatever business that she does, but she feels that she's worked hard enough. God has blessed her. She's also met the perfect gentleman. So let the wedding be lavish. What do well, you say? Well, thank you very much. And I cherish good morning to our viewers. I think that the first thing is you should understand the protocol that governs marriage okay. and know your role as a woman in planning marriage because within the marriage circle there's a role each party has to play 
So if you don't understand your role, then you step over your bounds. And that's what she's doing. Oh, you think she's overstepping? Yes. She's not even overstepping. She's stepping. When a woman like you is desiring for a lavish wedding, it's normal. You don't see anything wrong with it, no. right? No, there can be everything wrong with it, but it's normal in the first place because you are created for marriage. The only purpose of a woman on earth is marriage. The only yes. purpose? Yes. I'll, I'll surmount that. I'll go over that. Let, now, let, going over it doesn't change what I just said. Fine, but I'll so go over God it. So, God sat down and realized that the, the, the disability of a man is to get ability of a woman with 80% emotions, 12% spirituality, 8% thinking. So, your make, you were really designed for marriage. So when you are making noise about getting the flowers, getting the this thing, see the man. He's only seeing what happens down there to make a vow and break. That's what a man is thinking about. Because if you don't make a vow, you don't know how capacity your capacity is. But you just want to make a vow and make sure you break it. And that makes you a man. So in the first place, the woman having lavish wedding, thinking about flowers, it is normal for her make. Now, the issue is that nowhere these things are needed. Are they needed for marriage? Mm. Just like a Christian girl who wants to be righteous and believe that God in her righteousness and her virginity will give her the best husband. It's an error. So there are a lot of errors in the mind of a young girl like this. Mm. I have worked hard. I have made enough money just to make my wedding lavish. Are you marrying yourself? Who determines what goes into the marriage? There are three forms of marriage even in Ghana. The Mohammedan marriage, the customary marriage, and then the civil marriage. None of them tells us what happens like this decoration. That gives it a symbol of acceptance by law. Mm. The traditional one, like you said, toilet row was what was given. It means that the family of the lady didn't plan well. If you go to an engagement ceremony, traditional marriage, and they shot it, it means that the family didn't plan well. It's a shame to the woman, not the man. Because the cost involved in sovereignness and everything is the cost of the woman, not the man. But don't forget, immediately you finish Ghanaian traditional marriage and you decide to go and do civil marriage, you nullify all that you did. Say that again. Immediately you finish Ghanaian traditional marriage. Meaning the one that these days we wear the kente and the ring is put uh, on your yes, finger and all I mean, that. I mean, if you move past that and you go for a white wedding, it is you've nullified. nullified the, the it first is not one. recognized. The Under the law. Not yes, because normally nobody has the right to marry twice in this country. So then So either you choose traditional, Mohammedan, or civil. And there's nothing called church wedding. That's whatever, don't go there. The church has no marriage. So what we've been doing is what? The one with the white gown, the crown, and everything with bright It is the security of the woman. It's your fear. A man who wants to be well stable and live long, not like me, who will die soon. God forbid. Should do traditional marriage. Because the wedding takes you out of the tradition and gives you to the law. One man, one wife, champ 50% of property. Okay, so I know. I, I, I get in the picture. Yes, I'm trying so, to. So when I finish my, my traditional marriage and then I decide to make a decision to register my marriage for 21 days under the law, I nullify what? That is why in the marriage register they ask, when do you marry? So it is nullified. The customary one or the traditional the, one? The customary one is nullified. Immediately you go for civil marriage. Okay, so that means you can't have both customary and civil. You be, are be, doing that, that thing to decorate your soul. Mm. You see the problem? Yes, so I your, your, your lavish, your waste at the traditional marriage and all that thing, what's the waste? So your, the thing is that you are receiving people in your home. So we sit on plastic chairs or we sit on benches. And what do we serve people as evidence showing that they came? We need a cloud of witnesses. So I decide to give each of you toothpaste and brush, or give you taco, chuck a blow, mm. or give you blue. We give people things that they would use to, to at Remember home. Remember that But this right happened. now, you people have changed the thing. Which people? Uh, that your new people. I see everybody in Kente. Now, I even hear that pastors who don't know what the law is and don't know the tradition mm. go to traditional marriages and go and exchange vows. That's an error and a curse. As a matter of fact, the pastor is not needed in that. So, at the traditional marriage, they are, you don't have to exchange vows. You, for what? Traditionally. The family requested mm. that you want our daughter, and I need four gallons of water. Once you provide the four gallons of water, no, 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 they no. bring it to the family. We say, yes, it has been accepted. Mm. Daughter, we've received this thing from George Lutroth. 
coming to take your hand in mine. Do you agree? Yes. Then once he agrees, they bring her out to come and show to the family. This is the woman. That is why when you are pregnant, we don't bring you out. So let me tell you one of the things people don't know. Today, if I want to marry you and you are pregnant, then they see your sister should stand in for you. Immediately we finish, I should be able to ask you and take us to your sister because I'm not married to you. Because you married the sister. So those of you in Abrochi, that people are standing in for you. If you're standing for somebody in Ghana, chop the thing because your wife. You, these are the, the things you want to put in your mind. So when you say it's lavish, the kente. Are you aware that tradition? Nobody's supposed to wear kente and dress like a king. What it's a curse. What All of you who are doing it. What are you supposed to wear? Ah! Traditionally. But kente is tradition. You, you don't know what it means. What does it Every mean? Every kente you want to use, mm. there is a particular name you should use. Okay. But now you choose what is nice. Oh. So even for the traditional marriage, oh there are God. certain kentes you, you that we are supposed to use. And before dressed like a king, it mm. is it is an error. But we are quiet watching it. Now we have the so but, some... but but then so who is supposed to be telling us all this? I mean, we've got traditions in this country. Who is passing it or handing it down for us to Social know? Social media is making last time I saw that a whole guy was going to the wedding ceremony. There are other fellow guys following him, holding drinks, holding ah, I said, ah. What is happening to us? Mm. As a matter of fact, the man who is coming to marry the lady just walks in then, and they show then, him to the Then message. our forefathers and our sisters have failed us. They have not failed we, us. You've run no, away from who, the village no, to Accra. No, but who is teaching us? Those who, you who, have run away to Accra. Who, whose responsibility is it to tell me that, okay, Cookie, you cannot wear this particular type of kente Hello. because it has to swear and so a name? No, I asked myself. What is the church doing about oh, it? They what, take the church out. What is the Busia Peñi doing uh, about it? You use that one like. The yes. church is a, is, a, is a wrong place to go. Uh, but is the pastor who comes to the blessing? No, the pastor is a Nimu. He has not been invited. No, Pastor, Pastor, you should join him. The only time we are invited. Yes, we've been invited. So now our friend is on the shower. Yeah, yeah. Pastor, we're there. We're there with you. We should join him. We'll come. So for the traditional wedding, I want to suffer for it. It is a family issue, and so for people, we have to hear Jesus with him. Say this after me. Who said? So if you, what you're saying is, if you want to do the white one, there's no need to even do what we are seeing on the screen right now because this is an engagement. So look, look, look at, look at, look at this. This is, this is, this is madness. This is total madness. It, there is nothing sensible about this thing they are doing. You understand? But then they come and say, our real boy are Where you Jimmy? Good. Bafo, <laughs> thank God So what, what you mentioned, our real boy are I, I just want to come to you. Explain to me. I, I want to break it, break it down for us. Your daily life, when people call you and they want you to plan their weddings, what are the expectations? Because we've had a conversation um, off screen, of course, where people call you and then they start to mention all sorts of things that they want to see on that day. And then, oh, start here now. Feel the pressure and in the voice, you know. And perform. Uh, all because when they see the pictures, they think, say, maybe it's not expensive. But as I, as I have said it before, everything is being multiplied by the number of guests that you are hosting. Mm -hmm. If you are hosting 300 people, you are bringing chairs, and if one chair is 10 cities, you are t times 300. Uh, glasses. Chairs require 3,000. Yeah, you know, when um, glasses two cities times 300, everything times 300. So when we combine them together, then you know that you are paying more. You get me? It's a venue, Grandma. And, 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 and uh, what's your policy? Are you supposed to pay 50%, 70% before you start the planning and then after the, the wedding ceremony? After what wedding ceremony? And I'm going to be a baby canoe. The whole issue here is you are paying everything. Why I'm going for my rentals now? Are they going to give you for, uh, for free? No. You have to pay everything. So when you're about to get married, get prepared, get your money. Pay everything off. It's so disgusting and so ashamed that you'll be called Sunday after Monday morning. Morning, I'm afraid she will be called dear. Um, uh, uh, my balance, I'll call you. I'm at honeymoon, giving excuses and all those things. So many, so many cooking, so many. No, it's you know, exactly. you know, you know, you know, at first, no, Aye. you think, say, Abia, yeah. Bobby, dear, uh, oh, because you're called in Nibi. You know, the whole issue is, um, of Felice, people are doing, so he wants to do. You know, on top of Babi, who say, uh, you know, especially when um, it's Friday or Friday to the Saturday or Aye. a day to the engagement, you, know, you see unforeseen costs. You have to buy this, you have to get this, you have to get this. Yeah. Now, no, we see kind of my plans for the man, no, he has to put it in a, uh, another thing. So come and talk to you, bro. This, 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 this. Now Fine. it's happening. Now I... You, you can't do anything about it. But because he has given you 70% or 80% of the whole thing. I... So you feel like... Oh, after so you're already wedding, committed. You know, someone can even tell you that, you know, after my wedding, I'm paying you. Meaning, say, thinking, say, I'm in group, um, school group, 
WhatsApp group and this group group. Uh, so after once they'll give me an envelope and pay off. And it happens. And they think so right after the wedding. So when they don't get it that way, not disappointment about, then he'll be frowning to the wife. Wife will be frowning to the husband because the appointment about one side. Me, me, by then, I mean, that was the agreement. Hey, we free to everything. Now, me, dear boy, I come and for the maker. It's, it's so much. People are owing photographers, and you know, photographer, you can't, uh, you can't give him all the money because you need your photos, the hard copies, before you pay off. Hard copy, I read now, what could you see, Kano? Stories. Stories. And I was expecting money from this, I had a contract, and I said, now people are still owing us. So, this is when I need counselor to help me. I'm going to Okay. And you see, so far, Bobby Dean. Me body ye ye ye. E bi mi nsem ne mo na kwa asoro mo de ko mi chi ai. Asoro fo ka ho. Asoro fo ka ho. Asoro fo ko na egu asoro egu ye djuma no. Ya me so fo na. E mo so fo na. Mo so fo ni mi se. Sa On a scale of 0 to 100. Do do or no more frail now, moon to a mohon son, our moon to me, and yen is an anchor more planning somewhere. No percentage in the best essay. Oh, be yeah, seventy percent, seventy, and hon son, but or peno or peno lavish, but ne hon son, yeah, and now for so I know, yes, rather than at the end of the day, he 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 or she is mm. owing. So sometimes you have to tell Okwa extreme to the parent. To go and talk, talk to the parents, or go stream to a very close friend, or go stream to people that are, you think are close to them, to talk to them to pay you, because other guys are on you. Because one word they know, you are bringing on board carpenter, um, web, everybody, the caterer and everything is on board. So afterwards, you know, you know the people that I love their weddings in Nigeria for, aren't you fake? The Nigerians wouldn't show you fake. Oh, wow, they are wow. going to give you the money, mm. whatever you propose. You know. Are you going to provide this or say yes? Are you going to do this or say yes? Pays you off, you are gone. After the wedding, he has no issue with you. It's Ghana for your person, your copy, and I say your own so until we can compare ourselves to the Nigerians. You know? That's what you're saying this you morning. Know? Now, Uncle George, most importantly, does a lavish wedding equal a successful marriage? Unfortunately for us, a lavish wedding brings a bedding in marriage. But this lady in question says she can afford it. But for him, say, girl, 200,000 years will be say, obey to me. And the husband is even richer than she is. No, he so is more well to. To so do. The, the fact is, uh, Uncle John, my, my landed. Okay. So what, the man has the money. Yes. The woman also has the money. Yes. So in this case where the man says, no, I don't want to use my money to do all this and this, and the lady is insisting, say, I want a lavish wedding. Can she use her money? No, in the first place, it means that they have not had proper counseling. Because in counseling, we discuss... Two questions now, maybe, Sandro. Yes. We discuss this issue. We even discuss... Uh, running home and all i mean it's, it's a whole bouquet when it comes to counseling your costs that you are incurring are you aware that on your day of mind the wedding gown is not bought by the man it's bought by the woman Any and the man family who has, who has bought a wedding gown for mm. a woman go and collect your money from the family mm. I was so bad, like I said, and your so bad, so bad, yeah, that mm. I know. Yeah, my mother yeah. engagement 20, yeah. Tadia 20, no, as a son, a busy and four net on your Bermessica. So, if you never, your mouth two years, not the pump shatter, two year. Niamba Danka. Okay. So, if you watch carefully, what the man spends on naturally is the cost that he supposed to be incurred as a request. But for whose responsibility is the food in Pachame? But I just want that one. Adrian, you know, who's the woman's family a or the man? Engagement near or because we're coming to you. Okay. We're coming to you. So we're coming to you. Yeah, yeah, okay. But the wedding is both. Okay. Well, that is what I'm you judge, have done. Please. That one too is not true. When in, in, in Troni Bini, so, uh, so, uh, so, they are things that they have inculcated into our mind and is killing us. Mm. In the first place, uh, the dinner, uh, no, no, I uh, not no, uh, ignorance. To, uh, uh, you can't ah. equate ignorance to it's untruth. Intro. No, ah. you, you, you can't do that. Well, but what's your truth? And Troni Bini, we talk about this. What's in Troni Bini? Okay. Your man told me that you said, when you cry, and to be a judge, you that's After why I every... asked you in the beginning, say, whose responsibility, and I'm the responsibility was it to be checking all these things? Because, of course, <laughs> growing up, I've always known uh, that I want a white wedding. I want to wear a white wedding gown, uh, have my crown, and then uh, my bride's uh, uh, mates are following me. There are some flower girl and page boys in front of me and, and all that. Are you aware that was... none of them sign the, the, the document? I do. Yeah, I yeah, sign the only it. one who yes. signs, and then your yes. family will sign, yes. and those are the witnesses. Okay, but so the back issue to the is two that questions if I you asked. Want the, the first thing is that the cost is shared, and the cost is shared naturally. A man has his role, what he's supposed to pay. 
The rings the woman wear, it's not a cost of the woman. This lady is saying she has the money to But do she's it. not marrying herself. So she can't break the rule because she has money. My sister, no matter how rich you are, you still Come follow the protocol. Which is what? Which is... You and your man's agreement. You are following a family rule or a legal rule. Okay. And the legal rule doesn't involve, did you land at the place with a flight or what? You finish, the laws are simple. The place must be registered. The one must be gazetted. This is what the law is looking at. Mm. Your age at marriage is very important. Your symbol to seal the marriage which is ring and your consummation which is sexual intercourse is what the law is looking at. So these are the things we are looking at for. The other things you wear on it, it is you who says that what you wear makes you who you are. But the cost is on you. Yes, the so the lady, Buffon, see, this lady is saying that she's got the money to do it. But sadly, the man is saying that no, so, even though I have more money so than So the you. first thing is that once you have the money, and the man says it's a waste. Then the man, per your standard, it's not your class. Hmm. Monkeys play by sizes. sizes. Move on. The there is a young guy waiting for such a lady who is ready to spend. Hmm. So go for the man who will spend. That's one. Number two, don't say, Some of you are not the pen. Nobody's marriage is like your marriage. That is why counseling is very important. Lavish wedding has never supported any marriage. There's no woman I can challenge anybody in Ghana who had the most expensive wedding. And I'll tell you how sad they are. Because after all the wedding, Obia Kodifie, only one in Aka. What do you think she should do? As Councillor said, no. She's not getting married to herself. Okay. On your submissive, no nyasuti. Right. You know, it will bring eyes on you. Mm. You know, there is someone in your family who will cry so about where they need be. And hey, sister kya kunu wosikao, sister kya wosikao. After the wedding, you know, the calls and the pressure that you have from your friends and family, you can't bear. Trust me, all eyes will be on you. You can get a very beautiful house, whatever. After five years, ten years, two years, you can do whatever invest you want to do. You know, one house or something. Okay. Well, Cookie, saying, talking about that in the last bit of it, mm. let's not, like you said, who will teach us, who mm. will tell us? Yes. We have left those who must teach us Thank you. to those who will pamper us. Thank you. So and some of us will let you know us. Yeah. Mm. what is it. Your sister just had a marriage. Doesn't mean you should take tidbits mm. from her. And as for the mistakes, there are too many. But let's look for the right place, okay. talk to the right people, and right. know that the church has no marriage. Mm. So the church cannot determine what you want to do. You are only using their venue and they are registered, gazetted man of God. On 0277, I'm ready to teach you. 609644 is the best number so you don't go and make a mistake. Write it slowly. It's not a lot of number. It's a mobile money number. 0277 <laughs> 609644. If you are only back for, for me, I'm taking the list. So call me before I come next week. Because of this guy <laughs> is suffering. And when are you getting married? I'm married. I'm married to the microphone. That's why. For me. That's why I'm married. Clearly, clearly, there are, there, are, there are many wrongs that must be made right, especially in how we conduct marriage ceremonies in this country. Subsequently on this show, especially on Fridays um, on Hard Bay, we will come and then Uncle, Uncle George, you, you will help us well, to clarify, to clarify all those. Many. Thank you so much for sticking and staying with us. Now we are continuing with the VGMA discussions this morning. Remember that we are of your official media partners for VGMA today, Friday, and then tomorrow. Arnold Asamoah is in the house, he would be having a conversation with Ms. G coming right up. This is still TV3 New Day. I am Cookie. We'll be right back. <laughs>